Oh, that was really good. <laughs> yeah. That's a nice, good uh, <laughs> nice little twist there. Who was nice, that? Nice twist. Um, interesting, very interesting twist. The hippo <laughs> goddess. Yeah. Who's the hippo? <laughs> Apparently, Egyptian goddess Tarawet. Is it? Oh. Yeah. Just... Childbirth and fertility. Mm, interesting. Oh. <laughs> Childbirth, rejuvenation, and fertility. Apparently, yeah. You look very scared. <laughs> even even though it, it even though um look more like um like a mascot, you know. Yeah, it's a hippo. <laughs> a hippo mascot, like the type that you see in like sports games, you know, like football games. Oh, there's there's mascots, yeah. You know, but um, <laughs> but they got scared. It was so funny. <laughs> yeah. Mark. It just said hi. Yeah, it didn't even attack them. <laughs> it's quite funny. Hi. Did it did it come from that too? Oh no. Um, it no. came from. I don't like you mean the sarcophagus that was um, that um, was sort of knocking against the door. Is that? Yeah, the one at the end, the, the, the one knocking at, on the tomb thing. Right. That wasn't the hippo, right? That was someone else, was it? Um, oh, it's probably the mean, I don't know if it was. I don't know if it in was the a other one, persona. yeah. It's, I think it's. Oh. It, I think it is a third persona because what Stephen came out was practically the same thing. Yeah, because I thought it was um maybe the Jake persona. Yeah, Jake. Right? Yeah, yeah, that's, that's, yeah, that's, that's what we're. That's persona. what we're thinking. Oh, but but they didn't reveal it, though, did they? No, they, nope. well, they didn't open this. Well, problem. they focused on it. They didn't open it. Yeah. But it's <laughs> kind of leading to it is the it persona. But, uh, yeah, it, it's very likely. It's, it's Jake, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah but, but the, the thing about it is that it it this twist, I don't know, like, it could be saying that it's all in his head, like, uh, you know, his, his dissociative identity disorder thing, and that's why he's in a... Psycho. Psychiatric ward, yeah. Yeah. So but, he's... but they kind of break that once Mark met Stephen. Hmm. Right, right. But did he actually meet him? Oh, I don't know. It's, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Unless it's in the head and then in the head again. So he's in the head. Maybe maybe he's he's like un unconscious and then he's is in his head, right? Yeah. Well, they're doing it a bit like a sci-fi show, so it's mm -hmm. similar to those episodes where they make the whole thing like it. Yeah. It like was it's just. All, it was just a. Uh, it was all just a dream. It was imagination, all that kind of thing. Head, twist yeah. at the end, yeah. Yeah. This is after he was shot, though, right? Yeah. 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 But. Yeah. But but this time it seemed quite different because they already broke that wall mm. of it being. In his head. Yeah. So it's like it still is in his head, but now Mike has met Stephen, and now we have this Egyptian goddess. Yes. Mm. Who yeah. knows? Yeah. It, they kind of already break that yeah. reality. I mean, so the theory is that this is just all an effort to make Moon Knight stop fighting. And so it, it's like a trick to make him think that he's crazy by his, mm. you know, <laughs> like I yeah. wonder if, if they made up that entire set, like if Arthur exactly, had exactly had just built this set to to make it seem like he's crazy, so that he he won't he won't try to stop him from yeah. That's that's what up. I was thinking of as well because that's what like yeah. the other sci-fi shows when they have like a whole episode just like that. Mm. But th but this one is quite different because they broke that reality in like yeah less than ten minutes. Mm. Yeah, so so it seems like like a trick, right? Not not really, because as you say, yeah, they, they broke it. Yeah. So I, I yeah I I think it's more plausible that yeah. it's like a trick to make him stop fighting. Mm. Or it could be the water that he like sunk into. Mm. Oh, I think it was shot. Right? Oh, the water. You think the I mean... water has some properties that. <laughs> Make like him hallucin hallucinate. Because if you think about it, when he fell into the water, mm. behind him was solid. Mm. And not only that, if a patient is dead, they float, they don't sink. Mm. Uh -huh. But he but he sunk because apparently the 
the thing behind him seemed to have nothing anymore, and then he just sinks right in. Yeah. So this water thing. Oh, that thing. Yeah, yeah that is something that can cause his uh, dying fantasy. Yeah, because <laughs> what he fell into was solid behind him. It was like something that I could practically step on, but yeah, he went right it, in. It's a very shallow. Um... Yeah, it was shallow. He mm -hmm. wouldn't have sunk. Mm -hmm. And plus, if he was dead, he would float, not sink. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it could be. Uh, mm. Very interesting. You know, you know the the thing. Just before people die, they imagine things, and so this is mm -hmm. maybe it's a fantasy. Good. Mm. It's kind of, <laughs> maybe it's kind of like purgatory purgatory yeah yeah because it, it, you recall that that uh hippo right so in egyptian mythology tower rat is believed to cleanse the dead before they move to the next oh. stage in the afterlife so they so it's sort of like he's as Very jeff true. says in a state of limbo or something yeah, in the middle of somewhere, yeah. Hmm. and so the question is can he make it out into oh. the yeah, know, yeah. back into the the living. Oh yeah, back in the living. Oh, is he gonna? Is he gonna die? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's a good point. Yeah, it's but I guess between. it kind of makes sense because Tower is yeah. known to be <laughs> childbirth, rejuvenation, and fertility. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. Yeah. So, so if it is about like cleansing, that would be the rejuvenation. Yeah. And we get the fish back. Oh, this thing, yes. Yes, that was yeah. what I was thinking. Oh, yeah. like, oh, <laughs> is, he is he back? <laughs> fish. Goldfish. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> Actually, this is uh, what Jeff uh, was talking about. Some sort of purgatory. Yeah. Where it's possible to meet the 80s. Mm. <laughs> so here's the uh, struggle. It's going to be whether he can make it out alive or, or dead, basically. Mm, right. yeah. Yeah. Yes. Mm. I mean he was shot twice but I don't know whether it was fatal or not because oh yeah and so I guess we'll find out because is, yeah. the, the hippo goddess who may, may <laughs> be actually okay mm. <laughs> well, well it seems friendly enough yeah the, oh yeah the hippo yeah the end <laughs> it's a female there mm. It's, it's, it's not the girlfriend, right? It's, no, no, no. Okay, no. People. <laughs> no, the, the, the girlfriend was there as a nurse. Oh, yeah. Layla was, was the nurse. nurse. Yeah, oh, yeah, Layla was the nurse. Yeah, yeah okay. <laughs> and the guy who died on the table was one of the guys, apparently. Mm. Oh. Yeah, interestingly. No, yeah. The zombie was chopping him up. The, the yeah. ordered, orderlies. Yeah, yeah oh. they, these things were practically zombies. Why, why did they cut out? Why are they cutting out the people? Why are they? Uh, oh, they are yeah, zombies. Missing <laughs> organs, I think. That's what oh, zombies they want, do. They, they zombies want their organs. Too. Yeah. Oh, they want their yeah. organs. You know how it was? It was putting them in the jars. Oh. Which is used for storing organs. Oh wow! Okay. Yeah, yeah. Actually, you know. Yeah. Um, but it does actually seem like those those zombies were far weaker than other zombies that we know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like. Because it, the zombie versus Layla, she was pulled back twice because she kept getting away. Mm. Mm, mm. And then the last time she practically ripped off the hand of the zombie. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So that, that, so I was like, how, how come the zombie is so fragile? Yeah. <laughs> they, they seem quite They're so fragile much weaker. Yeah. Because, um, you know, like, they they probably needed to feed. That's um, why they. That's probably why they needed to feed because they're weak. Without yeah. without that, they they would just be very weak. Yeah. Um, yeah, but but then again, those zombies seem to have its own their own mind because they could like put people on the table. Yeah, yeah. these zombies can oh. think. So it's not like the Walking, <laughs> walking Dead. Uh, <laughs> mindless zombies. mindless zombies. Yeah. Yeah, it's interesting. Mm. Oh, I found something really interesting. So when when Mark met yeah. Stephen, especially with... Oscar Isaac's younger brother, who played the um mm -hmm. the other well, like yeah, one. one of them is his younger brother. 
Oh, oh, oh really? Really? Brother. I didn't even know he had it, Yeah, I thought it was CGI. No, it's, it's a not. body double, which is the younger brother. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, that works. That makes sense. Okay. <laughs> but, but, I mean, they, they I guess so it's, alike. Pretty, yeah, hmm. it's kind of good that at least, you know, they have that similarity, that natural kind of resemblance. Yeah. And um, similar build. Huh. Let's have a closer look yeah. at them again the picture in my book. Well, that that's it's still okay. both Oscar Isaac because that is it? Was... Hold on. It... So who's which one? the who's which one's the... Yeah, which one is which? <laughs> I think it was a body double. A body double. But we, we, in that picture, which one is the real Isaac? Which one is the brother, and which one is the? They both look the same. <laughs> <laughs> well, effectively, they are the same. You think so? I think the one on the left is the real. I don't know. I'm just guessing. <laughs> They imposed Oscar Isaac's face on the other one. It's oh, the is that oh, what happened? It's, it's a CGI thing. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. So that's why it's called Body Double. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I get it. Otherwise, that... yeah. It can't be, yeah. Can't be exact. Yeah. They have to be, be twins, exact. right? <laughs> they're not twins. Yeah, they're exactly. not. I know, I know. They're younger brother, yeah. Yeah, yeah I know. Hmm. But the closest you can get is twins. But, it's but still, it, it's good enough to have a Body Double that they could put the face on with. With a face which is similar enough that it's easier to do a deep fake of. Yeah, because, yes. because the deep fakes work better on a face which is quite similar to the original. Yeah. And yes. I'm sure his brother has a similar enough face that it would work. <laughs> yeah. Otherwise, the CGI would look really odd. Yeah, that's yep. true. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> and this one actually does look quite good. It looks better than most of the other. Yeah, it was like I couldn't really tell the difference. Like it it's was... probably not deep fake. Was, yeah. Or or maybe they had a body double one on one side and one on well, the they, other. Well, they talk about when know, they filmed it. When they filmed it, like maybe twice. The way hmm. that they used to do it before is they film it twice, hmm. the same scene, but the person playing two different parts. Right, right, right. Yeah. Just they from could, different yeah, angles. Yeah. And they splice. They could them. have done that as well. So they might have mixed both of both yeah. of those techniques. So that they don't oh, really guys. need to show. Uh -oh. oh, Bill, you missed it. Oh. <laughs> Hi, Bill. How are you? How are you yeah. feeling? Yeah. Did you? Did you? Uh, hello. Hey, Bill. Hey, Bill. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Hey. Are you... Did you? Did you uh, forget? Yeah. Yeah, oh, no, no uh, my my stupid alarm didn't go off again. Oh, okay. it was a very interesting episode. Yeah, <laughs> with a with a massive uh, really? twist at the end. Yeah. Time from Pixel Ultra underscore Red Ten. Oh, oops. We're just going through some of the details now. It's quite interesting. Yeah. Mm. There's lots more to come. Um, we yeah. just started the, the, the. There's some. There's some questions. Two episodes that, ago. Two ago, yeah. Hmm. And uh, did you notice the yeah. at the beginning? There's. Uh, oh yeah, what? Yeah, they, they imprisoned started. a lot more. Oh, that was the first oh, thing I thought. That's interesting. Like, what what happened to those other parts? You know? Yeah. Oh. So it does seem like a lot of those Egyptian gods were encased in stone. Hmm. In case yeah, could um, be the Indian. Could be the Indian. It's the nine Indian. in total, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. So it does they say it seem like Ahmed was in case in stone as well. I can't really tell from here, right? It's just so in case in stone. Yeah. yeah. You, you won't know just from such a brief um glance which of the gods they are. So oh, yeah. yeah. So they yeah. never focus into it, so we don't know all of them. We don't know, yeah. Does, does encased in stone mean mummified? No. No, the no. difference is there are pe uh, the people being mummified, but this is different. That's a different. Yeah. This is statues. Encased oh. in stone is what happened to Kansu. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yes. So That's Kansu cool. was added to that wall, basically. Yeah. Oh. That, was, that was the beginning of the episode. Kansu was added yeah. to the wall of the encased in stone yeah. gods. Yeah. Two different things here. I think. Yeah. yeah, but there are people being mummified too. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Like Hello? the like the uh Alexander the Great. Oh yeah, Alexander the Great, yeah. Yeah. So he is interesting. He he's actually the avatar for mm. um the voice, yeah. The voice, the voice yeah. of Ahmed. Interesting that he yeah, <clears throat> he's chosen. 
Avatar. Oh, did he make an appearance tonight? Did he? <laughs> he sounded a great. Well, yeah. just his, just his uh, uh, sarcophagus. The sarcophagus and dead body. Yes. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. You, you, Steph, you, you knew it was coming, did you? Because of the Macedonian thing. Isn't it? Macedonian. I think because they mentioned Macedonian, and oh. I'm. Yeah, it, it was kind of a giveaway when they. That was Macedonian. Macedonian. Yeah, that's Greece, right? Yeah. He, he was well known as being Macedonian. Yes. Speaking of sarcophagus, yes. This third yeah, one. He's that's well known to be Macedonian. Macedonian, he, yeah. Macedonian, he, which is he which which convinced is, people that he was Egyptian. Yeah. Macedonian is basically ancient, ancient Greece, right? Yeah. Mm. yeah. yeah. Mm. So yeah, he was. So who was. Uh, buried as an Egyptian. Who's, mm. who's what? Who was mostly in control tonight? Oh, that's uh, the, David. Yeah. Okay, it went back to yeah. being a bit more in control. But, but, but this episode feels different too because it's different. Yeah. It's, it's more Tomb Raider vibe. Yeah, <laughs> definitely Tomb Raider vibes. <laughs> yeah. including, not, not a lot of superhero action, yeah. to be honest. Yeah. Including yeah. that silly skit with Dr. Stephen Grant, hmm. which apparently that was called Tomb Buster, so. Oh, the, the VHS. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. the VHS was Tomb Busters. <laughs> yeah, that, that was a clear yeah. comparison to Tomb Raider. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty Tomb much. Buster. Yeah, Tomb Buster. Yeah. yeah. Oh, the third sarcophagus. Yes, likely to be Jack Lockley. Jake Lockley. Jake. 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 Lockley. Yeah. Jake Lockley. Yeah. They focused in, into that sarcophagus this time, but they completely skipped it. Yeah. They only showed the banging, bang, bang, bang. Yeah, but they also focus the camera onto the sarcophagus even more. So it mm. seems like that is coming into effect next week, likely. Yeah, mm. okay. So we'll have two <laughs> body doubles. <laughs> Interesting to see yeah, more of Jake. Yeah, like. it, yeah. So uh, this, this is the big twist for Bill. Sorry, spoilers. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah but effectively to do the hug, you definitely need a body double. But yeah. you see that in this case, yeah, okay. Body double too. Uh, the face is kind of like on the side. Yeah. Mm. yeah. It's a little bit. Yeah. Profile. Yeah. Which, yeah. Jake Lockley looks like these two, you reckon? Or Would be, yes. He should be. It should be. It's, it's, be. A, <laughs> it's, it's weird, the same right? character. It's yeah. a, it would be the same guy, but different persona again. Okay, okay. Oh, this guy. <laughs> we <laughs> mentioned that several times already. Tarret, Tarret, yes, Tarret. That's the first time she appeared, right? Yeah. Yep. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. Four fingers. No. Yeah. And the big question is this. Fingers. This is the big question. Oh, yeah. How much of Moonlight has like been what, real? What, what's the reality? Yeah. Is it is it all been in his head or I I don't think so to be honest I think uh, oh, really? it doesn't it doesn't seem so now since they already broke the psychiatric yeah, they broke, they broke, reality. Yeah, I don't think so, yeah. Oh okay, it's reality. Yeah, yeah. if it, it if it was gorgeous. yeah if it was they would have kept Mark in there for a lot longer than just ten minutes. Yeah, and as Jono says, Mark physically interacts with Stephen, and and so that kind of breaks the whole thing. The whole yeah. Yeah, they completely broke that reality uh -huh. already. And now we know that uh Mark is the main persona. Yeah. Mm. And he got the name Stephen Grant of the get shop from the VHS to <laughs> Busters. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's good. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, Koshu is still locked up somewhere, isn't he? He's um yeah, yeah, we already said that. He's oh, yeah. in case in stern. Because, oh, well, well, assuming that, you know, the first three episodes did take place and not entirely in his head. Oh. <laughs> well, they already can, they already broke the reality. So, yes, it's not. Yeah. It's not. Hmm. He can't come out. He can't come out. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> well, it does seem like in the next episode, they'll probably break out of that reality. Hmm. Well, well that 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 uh purgatory place yeah. hmm. okay yeah. it'll be interesting um to see how he escapes that you know and then 
Yeah. And, Some and sort of Egyptian purgatory because it was not made by Arthur Hare. <laughs> Actually, be be prepared for uh, even bigger shocks. So uh, okay. So probably it's not what you expect. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. We'll see what happens with five episode five and six. six, six. It's, uh, okay. If you were surprised by episode four. Get ready to be surprised <laughs> again. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so there's more surprises. So don't yeah. think it's a lot of good cut. <laughs> you know that that little that little Amit Amit statue thing. So where is that now? Is it um... that is Shakti? Where? Sorry. That's the that's what those statues Shakti. are called. The Ushakti. Oh, Shakti, that's what yeah. they call it. Shakti. Where, where is it now? So who's got it? Um... Uh. I don't know, it? Well, Stephen yeah, had Mike. it, but I, or Steve, yeah. Stephen or Mark had it, and then I think they they gave it to Layla. Oh, did it? Oh, yeah. Oh, Layla's yeah. Good. Yeah, so. most likely we didn't really see it happen, but Mark likely would have given Layla Damn. the Ushapti <laughs> before he got shot. Yeah. Because Doctor Arrow, Arrow would, 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 would want that thing, right? Would, would, would yeah, yeah. Want? Arthur yeah. obviously wants it because yeah. that's Arthur the whole movie obviously movie. wants it to yeah, revive right. Ahmed. He would need it to to, to, to revive, make, yeah. awaken her. Yeah, but he, he wasn't able to get it though, was he? No, no. not not yet. Not that we have seen. Otherwise, she would already be awakened if if he'd gotten it. So, yeah, and that's not happened yet. Okay, yeah. that's interesting. But we actually don't know what's happened to Layla because they cut away from the yeah. tomb. Yeah. Oh yeah, they didn't show where she went. After they move to that, um, to him in, yeah. in, in the ward, we don't know what happened. In the ward, yeah. The real her, yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, that's interesting. But we will find out. Episode five. <laughs> and it's also the first episode <laughs> where we didn't get any voice of Kansu. Mm. True, because you're still locked in the uh, oh, yeah. locked up. Locked up. Yeah. And that's why I said this episode different because it doesn't feel like a superhero yeah. action uh, episode. It's more Tomb Raider ish. Yeah. Exploring the it's tomb and the sarcophagus and all that stuff. Yeah. Like an action adventure type movie. <laughs> and they still kept some of the humor as well. Mm. <laughs> yes. So that made me laugh <laughs> when they saw the hippo. Well, this is what it's oh, about. and the kiss scene, and the kiss scene, oh, the kiss scene yeah. also really funny. and then he punches himself. <laughs> Tomb Raider, Tomb Raider, Tomb Raider oh, makes like one flew over the cuckoo's nest. <laughs> yeah, Tomb Raider. Huh? Yeah, Mark punched Stephen in the <laughs> after he kissed Stephen. After the yeah. kiss, after the after kiss, just to see if it's real, is it? <laughs> nope, yeah? it, not to see if it was real. Mike was angry and punched Stephen. Oh, I was so jealous. He, well, he punched thing. himself. He yeah. punched himself. So it looked like he punched himself. <laughs> Didn't expect that one coming. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Easter yeah. eggs. Let's see. Oh, trap pods. Okay. And oh, yeah. We saw this already. Yeah. The stones. Yeah. The stones. The Egyptian gods. Yeah. Ushap, Ushap, T. Ushapti. Yeah, it's hard to pronounce. Um, and then, oh, that's a beetle. Oh, beetle. You see a beetle? Oh, uh, yeah, right. Beetles. That was like right at the beginning before they went over and saw the, beetle. the beginning scene of Layla trying to wake up Stephen. Mm. Oh, so what's the significance? <laughs> I didn't really look too far into it as yeah. instead of it was just a beetle. Yeah, okay. Because apparently the, later on there was a connection between her and the scarab beetle later. I mean, her dad calls her little scarab. Yeah, exactly. I don't know yeah. if that's just symbolic. Yeah, um, yeah I think she's she's, she's going to be a superhero at some point. So maybe, mm. you know, oh, she... connection. <laughs> goat cat. There's a goat cat. It's completely <laughs> stuck there. How can it get down? How did it even get goat. there? I'm not even sure how the goat managed to make it up there. <laughs> yeah. I think yeah. it must have 
you know, taken the goat up there and then just abandoned it. <laughs> they completely stuck goats. Oh, yeah, <laughs> Maybe it's uh, foreshadowing the arrival of God, the Egyptian goat god. This is an avatar. <laughs> Kanum, Kanum. The goat avatar. <laughs> Yeah, but that goat was completely stuck. Wouldn't be able to get down at all. <laughs> Probably not a real goat. <laughs> Reading um, Heka, Heka. Oh, Heka that's pretty sad. Mm. 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 Okay. The last fight references the debut. Oh, yeah, that's right. Because she's dragged, dragged out of sight into a dark crevice. Yeah, yeah. That, that's a classic horror movie type move. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But instead of it like complete <laughs> getting killed, she practically destroyed that thing because it was too fragile. Yeah, well, she ripped off the hand. Yeah. yeah. Well, she was pulled in twice and then she ripped off the hand. Yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah. The backstory. So we finally kind of mm. have an answer about to the the dad, yeah. Her father we'll killed the dad, yeah. So did, did he kill the dad? No, no, but he no, was part no. of the team of mercenaries. Oh yeah. So to he, attack her dad's archaeological dig. It was, it was in, a ta- in a taxi. He mentioned it. So yeah. He and yeah, yeah but it does her. seem like that was the point, as what we suspected. That yeah. that was the point where he also kind of died. Yeah. He, he was betrayed by his partner and um, oh. and you know was killed as well he should have died but because of Kansu, he survived oh I see. that's why he survived okay and that's how he became conscious avatar right? yeah yes so i'm happy his partner mark betrayed bushman and akira yeah. Yeah, and he became conscious <laughs> avatar yeah. so he practically died like he should have died but Kansu saved him yeah. Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah. The oh yes, Alexander the Great sets up Zeus. Oh, was it Zeus? Kang, maybe why? <laughs> I didn't see Zeus. No. Um. Uh, I'm not sure what that would be, but okay. So, oh, because Alexander the Great was he proclaimed himself the son of Zeus. Oh, was he? <laughs> and oh. Russell Crowe will actually portray um. Zeus. Well, right? you know in Russell is going to be Zeus in Thor. Love and Thunder. Love and Thunder. So mm-hmm. maybe there's a connection. And that's coming soon. We finally got a trailer for Love and yeah. Thunder. Yeah. yeah, set to the song from Guns and Roses or something. Sweet <laughs> Child of Mine. <laughs> Sweet Child of Mine. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's looking good. Mm. So, Zeus is in... I'm looking forward to seeing that. That would oh, be yeah. interesting to see. Love and Thunder. It's, it's Zeus in Love and Thunder, is it? Is yeah, he's yep. Russell Crowe. Russell Crowe oh. playing him. Russell Crowe playing him. Yeah. Wow. He's in Marvel. <laughs> yes. It was, everyone's in Marvel now. Everyone's <laughs> in Marvel. In Marvel. Oh, Everyone will like... be. Even Tom Cruise will be in it, I reckon. Yeah. It'll be interesting to see. Isn't what... Tom Cruise the in, the next version of Iron Man? Yeah, that's what everyone says. Tony Stark. That's, yeah. that's an interesting... Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, <laughs> interesting choice. I think that was already confirmed. Well, it's confirmed that he's in it, but not who he's playing, right? Hmm. So we'll see. Well, it does seem likely it's the other realities, Iron Man. Yeah, I mean, you, you, yeah, I can see that he might be an Iron Man. Hmm. Oh yeah. So this hospital thing is actually based on the comic. Okay. Oh. Um, you know, <laughs> like yeah, yeah, from a comic book run. Okay. Mm. Oh. So yeah, and he's switching from Indiana Jones vibe to one flew over the cuckoo's nest. Mm. But it was mm. really just a trick. Him. Yeah, it's probably a trick. Stop. It was a trick. But in the hospital, you can see all these characters: uh, Donna Crowley. Bobby and Billy back wow. in different roles, obviously, in the hospital. Mm. <clears throat> very different. After Harold is the psychiatrist. Yeah, and then yeah. the goldfish makes an appearance. <laughs> yeah, we, we <laughs> pointed out the goldfish. <laughs> Gus is back. <laughs> you gotta have Gus. Yeah. <laughs> of course, they did say get him back because 
Rubik's Cube. Rubik's Box Cube. Cube. Rubik's oh, Cube. Because oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, Steven in episode one was also playing with a Rubik's Cube to keep Trying himself, to keep himself awake. awake. He was like playing with it, tossing it up in the air and catching it. Yeah. Trying <laughs> to solve it. Mm. Mm. So good old Gus is back, eh? Yeah. Gus. Yeah. Gus was back. back. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Is there any clue as to uh, what happened to Gus? Mm, uh, it's just there. <laughs> it's just there. Yeah. I don't know how oh, much they'll make out of. Uh, I mean, I think that Arthur Harrow probably took Gus in the first place. <laughs> like, I don't know why, him, uh... but you know. He took um, the fish. Yeah. The fish. Um, <laughs> but that's how it. How how else would it have ended up in the? in the you know in the world really oh, so, yeah. yeah that's Donna <laughs> with a scarab plush toy by the way it's uh yeah oh, that's <laughs> that's stuff, yeah. um stuff toy but... oh that's um the, the, the wife of thing the... no 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 Donna oh, um was his um awesome. su supervisor at the museum when he when yeah he... if you remember yeah. back in oh, yes, yes. Boss, one, yeah, yeah. one who keeps <laughs> making him do like inventory and <laughs> yeah. the gift the gift shop the gift shop the, the gift shop and what was the one that we missed? Uh, what? You, you skipped one. Oh, the SK one? The SK one? Oh, oh the hospital clock has control staff. Yeah. Oh. And the staff uh, is in the, uh, well, okay. Two large hands. Do Donna, there's a clock behind Donna with two large hands. Mm. And one mm. is in the shape of the crescent moon stuff. Yeah, I completely <laughs> missed that. Mm. Mm. I don't think I noticed that. Um, but, why, but why would the clock have country staff on it that's interesting the clock yeah maybe a hint that the reality that t is in was not real mm. yeah oh the postcards oh yeah. those are the same postcards okay what do you oh, okay that's interesting oh. the photographs are extremely similar and also located near the goldfish bowl. Oh, this was in, the, in his apartment, was it? Mm. Yeah, back in there. Okay. But Gus definitely had a bigger tag. Oh, yeah, yeah, the, the rectangular one, the big, yeah, I know. Because mm. he's a nurse, right? The wife's the nurse, yeah. Yeah. Mm. In the hospital, yeah, she's a nurse, yeah. Yeah, yeah he's a nurse. And her bandage. Oh, the, the scarlet scarab there you go scarlet scarab oh, okay so that's what she she becomes <laughs> this thing <laughs> uh, just just on the bad day oh that's scarlet scarab is it? Mm. Oh. Right, right that's a really really <laughs> what do you see can you just see it in the thing well, you have if, to if really... you didn't if you didn't pause screen you wouldn't find you, would have... you wouldn't see it yeah. you wouldn't see it link in a mute you miss it link in a mute <laughs> yeah it. they completely missed yeah. that as well but interesting Mm. So they added there. Mm. That's, That's why it's called an Easter egg. Exactly. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Leila's Turkish delight. Turkish, huh? delight. Turkish delight. Oh, when? the candy. <laughs> oh, just what she's eating. Oh, yeah. This is a very, very oh, obscure yummy. one. When she ate. I love so Turkish delight. I haven't heard <laughs> Turkish oh, delight. Is good. I haven't seen it. I haven't. Yeah. I mean, the proper Turkish delight is good. Not the Turkish yeah, delight that I, comes I mean, in the bars. Not those ones. Those, those yeah, ones are I, not really Turkish I delight. I want the authentic ones that you get yeah. from. I think there's yeah. certain stores that yeah. are by, by Turkish yeah. people. Yeah. Like, yeah, those, those ones are good. Yeah, the, the, those are the ones that you should the, 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 they're the real ones. Yeah. Oh, the real ones, yeah. 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 The, 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 the in-shop made one uh, made uh, by the Turks or the Lebanese yeah. um, in in batches mm. you know made over hours they're just to die for you know with and um, with um rice water or citrus water it's yeah. just beautiful it really is really yeah really wonderful yeah. yep and then even though i do like the other candy tickets to light they add chocolate with it so mm. Mm. it's not the same no the actual, no. The actual one is definitely better Oh, for sure, yeah. Yeah, I mean, yes, yeah, so a real Turkish delight is basically just like a really hard blob of um, jelly. Mm. Yep, and it tastes far better with without the chocolate. 
Oh no, you don't. You don't want exactly to have it with chocolate. I would. I wouldn't okay. eat it with yeah, chocolate. Yeah, right. I, I'd soak the chocolate off. Mm. So did she have chocolate? No, I think she had the proper taste. Like no, no, the proper one. The, the actual chocolate. <clears throat> mm. Yeah, for for that for that you know, kind of like um, ear and that kind of like um, quality I've seen. They'd probably, yeah, they definitely um, use the real uh, one. Authentic, the real one. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Because, yeah, uh, like where, where they are and what they're doing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Looks like Shackle echoes. Oh, okay, okay. So the way that she uh, falls down is very similar to the way that Steve fell. Like when he comes out of his bed, because yeah, he, and then he trips. Still shackles himself trips. to his bed. Yeah, in the apartment. That's like exactly what happened. <laughs> and and happened. the little like toy, which looks like main pack. Yeah, yeah, the toy. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. With the suit and everything. You know, it's cute. It's that's actually like, quite a cute little. Yeah, toy. it's kind of like similar to when he was holding the Amet thing, but he's got now got the Moon Knight thing. So. <laughs> and the toy. cup. Cakes. Remember the cupcakes the cupcakes. Now. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. The that trolley is going, going around with cupcakes. Okay. So, uh, cake that's the cheese sort of yeah. mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 The, it was a cupcake <laughs> van. Cupcake van. The, the cupcakes are cupcake cool. van. Oh. <laughs> yeah. And the guy in the hospital was rolling around a, a trolley with cupcakes and giving up to the patients. <laughs> Nice. Oh, look at this. Dr. Harrow mimicking Dr. Harrow. <laughs> oh. He's playing himself in it. Even the landscape painting is yeah. the same mountain town that Harrow first appeared in. Yeah, we see him looking at it. It was probably one of the most obvious ones. They would really consider that an Easter egg. Uh -huh. Because they focus oh. onto the town painting. Yeah. yeah. So that town that they went home because yeah because focusing on that town painting even Mark remembers that town. Yes. Yeah. Like the Alps. Yeah. Exactly. And the font and the Tombasta. 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 Movie yeah. villain. <laughs> I see. And we saw this. Uh, into yeah. The yeah, but here's the thing about that office as well. That place was full of like Egyptian artifacts. Yeah, we, which and makes it town. even less real. <laughs> yeah, it makes yeah. it even. Why would there be sarcophaguses real. in hospitals? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, why would you have all these Egyptian statues and, you know? Yeah, like we see the even... statue of even Kansu in there. <laughs> I didn't get any. Like, why were they there? Yeah. They break the emotion so so quickly. Yeah. Mm. So apparently, uh, her debut was already foreshadowed in episode one because uh, Hippo Toys. She it already wasn't. passed even... when he had to do inventory for the stuffed toys and. Oh, there were some hippo ones. They passed a box of hippo oh. toys. Oh yeah, okay, baby. And then and then he corrected yeah. her to say actually yeah. they are tower red. Yeah. Doesn't the hippo princess only have four fingers? Four fingers. How many fingers did, did yeah. this one have? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Um, yeah. No. Yeah. When she was waving, hey, you... I, I didn't really notice her how many fingers. Oh, yeah, she's waving. Yeah. Didn't see it. Hey, if, I forgot. If you I saw the, the, the previous image, um, I just think, uh, I thought that I, I'm sure. Oh, no, it's got five fingers. I uh, just. Four or five fingers. Yeah. Mm. Yes, oh, you saw four, five, four. Did you see four? I guess I can't remember if she had it. When, when, uh, yeah, when no, no, it's five. Yeah. Oh. Okay. It's not a true hippo. <laughs> yeah, it's not a, not a true <laughs> hippo. <laughs> real. Not a true hippo. It, it reminds me of those Star Wars characters that in the in the Jabba the Hutt. Um. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you mean. Uh, what are they called? What are they called? <laughs> As the soldiers for Jabba the Hutt. The, the, Oh no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. oh, that's Emma. That's Emma. Yeah. yeah, that's terrible. Oh, guys. Um, I, I thought I'd uh, just uh, drop in just to uh, say hello. 
Yeah. All right. Uh, you drop in. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. Uh, Hope you're I'm pretty excited. Yeah, I yeah. had an operation today. So oh, okay. I'm about to uh, leave it. I'll be in leave here. Again. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, okay. good to see you. Yeah. Okay. Have a good you guys, um, you guys um, have a great night. And um, I'll we'll see you next one. See you next hopefully, one. Hopefully, um, um, tomorrow, uh, tomorrow is Saturday. Oh, Sunday. 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 Oh, hang on. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. So, okay, I'll um, see you guys next week then. Yeah, that sounds good. Bye. All right. See you, Will. Yeah. Okay. Yep. See you later. See Bye. 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 Oh. Yep. Just one word. Hi. What? <laughs> yeah, she only has. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. See five. One, two, three, four, five. 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 Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. He's got an interesting voice. It, 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 the voice actress is, uh, I, I, yeah, I, I don't know this actress, Antonia Salih. Salih. Oh. I have no idea. Yeah, I have no idea. I haven't seen her okay. in anything. But well, maybe she has not appeared in any other credited project. Oh, really? Okay. Mm. Well, maybe this is her first. No. Probably. Oh, her first appearance, you mean? Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. Mm. And so far, it only has one word. Hi. Oh, hi. <laughs> hi. Terrible. Yeah, that's good. Guess that was all the Easter eggs. Yes, that's it. Yeah. Very <laughs> nice. That was good. Eh? That was a good episode, and they rounded yeah, up the good stuff. It was. It was quite a twist at the end. That completely unexpected. Yeah. You know, it, it's yeah. you know, it's a series that sort of keeps surprising you. So I I like that it's kind of unpredictable. Mm. Well, it, it became a little bit Wonder Vision ish, especially because in the first few episodes of Wonder Vision, you're not quite sure what's reality. Yeah. So it's become a little bit like that. Mm. <laughs> but that was the whole point of Wonder Vision. Yeah. This yeah. one, it was only the last 10 minutes and they already broke that reality. Yeah, yeah. This one, it's, this one, it was harder to tell. It's less likely that it's. I think the, the further they got into it, it was most likely a fake reality. Because as I said, the Kotsu's mm -hmm. thing on on the clock, really. Yeah. Yeah. And like all, all the hints with yeah. the hippo, the cupcakes, the fish, mm. and all the Egyptian stuff, like really? In a hospital? Why are they in the hospital? Yeah, it's too obvious. So oh, it's 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 the hospital scene that is the the non reality basically. Yeah, they kind of made the hospital the non reality so mm. quickly. Yeah. That they break the reality in less than ten minutes. Mm. Oh yeah. Mm. Interesting. <clears throat> but it's an interesting way of doing it. Mm. Yeah, I mean, it, it all ties into the whole, you know, his split personality gets you kind of thinking, oh, is he crazy? Is it all in his mind? Mm. Yeah. But, but now at least we know who the primary persona is. Mm. That's Mark. It's Mark, yeah. Mark Spector, yeah. The one that got shot, is it? Yeah. They both got shot. It's the same guy. The okay. body, the same body. Yeah. Yeah, the same body. Sharing the same. Yeah. Oh, same body. Yeah. Oh, they're, they're not, working, they're they're not like they're not different people. They're the same body. Uh -huh. Different personas in the same body. Except that in the last ten minutes, he met his <laughs> other body. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's okay. <laughs> it was practically like the last two minutes. Oh, I see. Okay. I see. Wow. Yep, the last two minutes he finally meets Stephen meets Mike. Mike meets Stephen. Yeah. yeah, I mean, yeah. But the show is smart enough to know that we don't actually buy any of that. Hmm. You know, as as uh, good as Jono says. Yeah. yeah. Too many hints that yeah. it's not real. <clears throat> Especially no. since Stephen got out of sarcophagus and remembers exactly the same thing as Mark. Yeah. Stephen, yeah. 
Like, what was the last thing you remember? Exactly, yes. Oh, yeah. It came out of that. Mm. <laughs> Just think. Yep. Should we get to our scores? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Get to our scores. So, Jeff, you want to go? Um, oh, this is good. I, I think. I think nine. I'm gonna give you nine. I think. Wow. Um, <laughs> good score. Good score. Good yeah, score. Yeah, yeah. Nine. Good score. <laughs> it's, got, it's got lots of good, great elements and surprises from yeah from the tomb in Egypt, um, in Egypt, and then to the ward in the in the middle in the afterlife, so to speak. Yeah. Um, and then yeah, Alexander the Great was a big surprise. That was yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. You wouldn't believe, think that could happen in, in Egypt, you could say. Um, and yeah, they found they found the Amet thing, the, the little what do you call it? S a shabti. A shabti, yeah. yeah. Um, that was really good, you know. Yeah, when he got it, he held it. He was he was very happy when he got it, and um, but it wasn't over yet, I think, because yeah, the arrow was coming for him. I guess. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. He was got shot. I was, I was surprised. Yeah, he was so open to get shot. Yeah, like, <laughs> he didn't run away. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh. I did think he wanted to get shot. Okay. But... I think he just wanted to fight. Like, he didn't want to just give it up. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, he did... Well, he did have a good defense, but because he doesn't have the... The gun. Ceremonial armor anymore. Oh, yeah, he doesn't it's have... no the... longer, like, invincible In because he doesn't conscious, have yeah. conscious protection. Oh, yeah. I see. That makes sense. So that's why he's... Armor. Like armor. Yeah. He was vulnerable. Mm. And then, and then, and then Harrow took advantage of that, I guess. Yep. He, he knew that he he was vulnerable and Yeah. Yeah, so that was really good to twist and then get yeah, in the hospital. Yeah. Meeting, I guess meeting all his other characters. Oh yeah. Not not <laughs> yet, though. Oh not okay, in, in the mind or, or whatever. In yeah. I'm just surprised that he Harrow was his doctor. I mean <laughs> you, you wouldn't think no, that that was funny as well. Yeah, I guess yeah. It's, it's, I call it. Psychiatrist or something. Yeah, yeah. that's a like, classic horror movie movie yeah. move. Yeah, it's a bit ironic because he, it's really funny. It's, yeah. it's meant to be his enemy, right? Not necessarily his helper, but that's a classic horror movie. Yeah, move. I understand. It's, the yeah. enemy is actually the psychiatrist. Yes, <laughs> the twist, the twist. Yes, not exactly a good twist because if you watch horror movies, you kind of see that. Oh, yeah, 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 it's kind of like that anyway. It's yeah. like the the most obvious person. Yeah, that's the villain. It's, it's a villain. psychiatrist. Yeah, <laughs> that's really. Yeah, that was good. Yeah. Oh, all right. yeah. I'll give it a nine. Yeah. A nine from Jeff, huh? Yeah, that was good. Actually, I'll, I'll go next, and I'll give you the eight point five as well. Yeah. Oh wow, that's eight point five. Yeah. Eight point five. Really like the nice. whole Tomb Raider vibe, the mm. whole Indiana Jones vibe. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, as I think I mentioned already. It, doesn't really feel like a, a typical Marvel mm -hmm. uh, show, MCU show, which I think is what makes it quite unique, actually. Yeah. It, it, this Out of all the MCU shows, this one is the most... It, it's the one that doesn't rely a lot on knowing your knowledge of the MCU as a whole. Um. Yeah. So, yeah. and I think it's great. Like you know, um, it's very standalone and unique in its own way. It's very unique. Oh yeah, very yeah. original. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, quite original. Um, mm. um, yeah, just fun. Like this one, like a fun. Uh, it was yeah. Adventure. Adventure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And also a good. twist, obviously, at the end. But yeah. like, yeah. Mm. Um. Mm. Yeah, eight point five. Wow, that is hard. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I like it a lot. Yeah. What do you think, Steph? Yeah. I, I, I mean, I give it an eight. I think, I think it's oh, eight. Okay, that's good. It's a pretty good episode. Mm. And you know, I, I like that they had that they always kind of have something new, like in each episode. Mm. Um, and and this one, you know, having that twist at the end, oh, yeah. it's pretty pretty good. Um, and unexpected, like totally unexpected. So, 
Yeah, I like that um, each episode, you know, you sort of can't predict what the outcome is. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's, that's always good. So there are some series where you know exactly where it's going to go. Yeah, it becomes sort of predictable and a bit, you know, yeah. and then you get a bit tired of that series. Whereas this, you know, I think it, it just keeps you interested. You know, it keeps you intrigued with every episode. So, yeah. So, and yeah, I, I really like this episode. Eight, 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 eight. Um, oh. You learned a bit more as well oh, yes. about, you know, the... I suppose, you know, about Egyptian mythology. <laughs> that was yeah. the, the gods in Egyptian. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I mean, I, I love that they actually got inside to see oh, yeah. the tomb, finally. Um, mm. see the tomb. Um, inside it too. Yeah. The sarcophagus. Yeah. The sarcophagus. Yeah. yeah, they kind of mix the history and mythology a bit. Yeah, that. yeah. We'll pick and choose what they want. Oh, yeah, yeah. Exactly. yeah. Mm. with Alexander and all that. But it's, it's very interesting. Yeah. Because Alexander is still lost. Is it? I still want lost. Oh yeah, then, then no one has the tomb of Alexander. No oh. one knows where he's buried. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's still a mystery. Mystery, yeah, still no. a mi mystery. Never found it. Yeah. Interesting. I found Pharaoh and all that, but, but not um, yeah, not the not great. Alexander the Great. No, no, yeah. I don't know where it is. Yeah. That's why even in the episode, so maybe we are looking at the long lost tomb of Alexander the Great, <laughs> who became an avatar for. I mean, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So yeah, they a, added their own MCU story to. Well, the, the MCU yeah. always has to have their own um, <laughs> twist, twist on, on history. <laughs> like they don't change history; they just add their own twist to it. Yeah. Kind of like a crossover, I guess. Greek, Greek and Egypt, yeah. Mm. So it's great to have that. Um, yeah. Now I, I like the feel of this episode. Yeah. Mm. Hey. All right. Yeah. Yep. <clears throat> Yeah, but also, also, this is this is probably one of my favorite episodes. Mm. Yeah. There's definitely a lot less action in this one, but it actually keeps you interested. Yeah, yeah, yeah. this one's good. Yeah. Like it keeps you guessing. They're taking a lot of risks with this. Uh, they keep you guessing, mm. like what's going to happen next. They answered a lot of questions which they didn't answer before. Answer. Yeah. Now we know a lot more things before, before than we do now. Oh yeah. Like now we know that Mark is the primary persona. Oh Mark. Mm. And Stephen Grant was made from that two busters thing. Mm. <laughs> and yeah. yeah, we got to learn a little bit more of the history, like the six points on the eye of yeah, that was such an interesting thing, you know, that yeah. when Steve was explaining that to, to Layla, I thought, oh, I'd never even knew about any of this. Yeah, I had no idea either. Like, there was the eyebrow, the ear, the tongue. Yeah, the oh, and then eye. the mouth, the voice. Yeah. When he was, mm -hmm. when he was, was the, kind of interesting when he was drawing that. Yeah, like, what talking the, about the parts of the eye. Uh, the eye of Horus. The eye of, the eye of Horus. Horus, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> Was it, it was on the wall, was it on the? Oh, yeah. yeah, that was the drawing that so yeah. Stephen wrote on the thing. Yeah. Um, so that was really interesting. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Quite good. a good episode. So we yeah, also yeah. learned a bit of history while watching the show. That's yeah. right. Yeah. yeah. Very good. Very good. Tomb Raider vibes were like definitely there. Like, <laughs> if you played any right. Tomb Raider games, like the recent ones, you fight against like. Zombies as well zombies, in some zombies. way. Zombies. <laughs> and the typical path breaking after you walk across it thing. Yeah. Like, that um, was, yeah, that was it's just paying homage to all those uh, yeah. you know cliches. <laughs> yeah, that's that's practically a gaming cliche because once they pass it, then it I finally mean, breaks. It, yeah. It's yeah. been sitting there for thousands or hundreds of years and then it breaks after someone crosses it. <laughs> you, you can't have a tomb tomb regular kind of episode without those moments, you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. It's kind of a cliche, but yeah, it works. Exactly. <laughs> Overall, I give this episode like a seven point five. Ooh. Okay. Mm. High for, it's high for. Um, yeah. <laughs> pretty oh. high for a non-action. Non-action episode. Yeah. <laughs> oh, but uh, oh. 
Oh yeah. So IGN is what? Wow. oh nine agrees with uh, Jeff. Yeah. That's very nice. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, it's now probably I, the probably yeah. the best episode of the series. Yeah, probably best episode. Yeah. Big secret. Yeah. yeah. I love this episode. It's so Tomb Busters. Yeah, Tomb Busters. Tomb Busters. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and also, you know, where is where is my mind? <laughs> Makes me feel good. Yeah. And an interesting love triangle. There you go. Love yeah, triangle. Steve <laughs> Funny that's moment there. That's himself. Yeah, he himself. punched he punched yeah. himself because <laughs> Mark was annoyed that Stephen kissed the wife. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Because the girl is technically the wife of Mark. 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 Yeah. But not the Mark. Mark. Not, yeah. not, not related not to Stephen. No. Yeah. Oh, yeah, so even so even Mark said that I should throw us off a cliff or drown us. <laughs> he was that annoyed at Stephen, <laughs> even though they share the same body. So they can technically have two different wives then. Isn't it? Well, well, yeah. <laughs> uh, How does that work, though? It's the same work? body. It's the same I, I don't body. Know. It's the same body, so not likely. It'll still have to be just one. Oh, so you, okay. So Stephen has to take the other one as a wife, I guess. In in, in theory, yeah. Well, considering if we consider the first episode, it's because of Mark that Stephen never mess up with the girlfriend or potential girlfriend. Mm. <laughs> He screwed that over. Oh, yeah, he did. <laughs> because he was up for a date and it never happened. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I remember. <laughs> wow, okay. But yeah, good episode. So this is what I'm saying. Moon Knight is actually better for actually ignoring oh. the MCU. Mm. It's a unique song. tone to it, unique tone. It's so standalone and so unique in its style as well. They have a subtle hint to other parts of the Yeah, episode. very subtle though. Very, very subtle. They don't make it yeah. so that you don't feel out of it. Like it, like yeah. it doesn't take it out of it. Oh, yeah. See, oh, we've yeah. seen all these already, right? You know, Falcon, yeah. Wonder Vision, Loki, what if? Oh, well, we have this. Oh, okay. Miss, Miss Marvel is coming, coming soon as yeah. well. That's to come. It's Marvel. But these these two feel like they're definitely gonna be you know typical Marvel style shows. Yeah. Whereas Moon Knight, I think not it's many fun. people know about the character, so they can do what they want to do. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I feel like that's the that, Miss that Marvel is you know. the eighth of June. Eighth of June. Oh, oh, that's a problem because we're gonna have a What's happening? clash with Obi Wan. Yeah. Oh. oh, really? When when is Obi Wan coming out? End of May. Okay. okay. Yeah, May. Well, we can do one on fr or Friday, and then right, right. We could yeah. do we could do um, Star Wars on Friday. We'll yeah. figure it out. Okay. And then do Miss Marvel on Saturday. Yeah. Hmm. Because they're both Disney ones. Yes. Oh, they're both Disney. Oh, yes, of course, of course. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's right. Oh, cool. <laughs> wow, it's getting really good. Isn't it? Next. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. And uh yeah, but this one there's two two left, yeah. yeah. Two yeah. episodes left. Two left. Wow. Yeah. And then there's multi race of Mandas. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Which is yeah, right after the finale, the series finale of Moon Knight. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, right up. Actually, are, are we watching the Doctor Strange before the finale? I'm just or, Hold on, what, what day are we watching? No, because we are watching on Friday. So, and if we are doing this on Saturday, we're actually watching Doctor Strange first. Oh, before the finale of Luna. Although, obviously, you know, Bernie and John are normally watch it like, oh, they pretty watch it. early. So. Oh, yeah, they watch it. <laughs> because they've got Disney Plus. Yeah, okay. They didn't have Disney Plus, but I watched it anyway. Yes. <clears throat> I see. Doctor Strange wouldn't be a spoiler for the for the well who knows who knows, who knows? Right? <laughs> okay <laughs> yep so the finale okay. is on so, okay. the fifth of May I don't think it would make a difference which one you watched first because oh. they're not really like Muna isn't really linking exactly so I I don't fourth think May, yeah. it, well it would link too much fair enough <laughs> yeah yeah so fourth of May is know. the finale fair enough, yeah. I think it's, it's correct. Yeah. yeah. And 
Mostly yeah. with Madison on the fifth. Mm. Directly just before. Just before. Okay. <clears throat> interesting. Yeah. Mm. Oh, all right. <laughs> that'll be interesting. Mm. Yeah, that'll be interesting. Yep. Multi race of madness. <laughs> it spells out mom. Mom. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> and I'm looking forward to seeing, you know, sort of Wanda come back. Actually, is it multiverse of madness or multiverse of madness? Or... Multiverse of Madness. Yeah. Yeah, Wanda's in there too. Wanda's in there too. Wanda, oh, obviously. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, she's in all the trailers. So, yeah. <laughs> and considering that Mother's Day in Australia is the 8th of May. Oh, is it? Oh, yeah. I think that's just a coincidence. Yeah. yeah. Totally hmm. just a coincidence. But still, Multiverse of Madness still says Mom. Mom. Mm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs>